back to Let's Play Da Kappa 2. Stupid banana! Well, this is kind of weird. Like, usually I'd record, like, enough to, like, split into two parts, but the previous recording, I wasn't able to do that. Well, technically I was, but I just didn't see the point in doing that. So, the Christmas party draws near. But when will Nanaka's route officially begin? Probably after that, but... Let's go to the music room. Finally, all the preparations for the haunted house were finished. All we had left now was the Christmas party and the school's end of term ceremony. Are we already in a party mood or what? No, not really. There were classrooms with wacky director decorations as well as students running around in animal suits. I was in the least partiest mood ever when I woke up. Uh, again, I repeat myself so many times that these freaking sleep paralysis just strikes again. It was a horrible experience and when I woke up I was just like, where the fuck am I? I was just like, I went out of my room and was like, where is everyone? Like, pretty much like, asleep. Just like, okay, whatever. And then just like go downstairs, as I was going downstairs, just see the cat sleeping, just like, is everyone sleeping in this house? Go downstairs, even the dog is just lying there, just like, I can't be asked to do anything, just like, what? Then like the dog like standing right by the uh, back door, just lying there, just like, I, I don't feel like doing anything out, and I'm just like, I don't even know where I am, and the fact that every in this house is either asleep or out and even the animals are asleep or just like I can't be asked to do anything it disorientates the crap out of me I still don't even feel completely awake it's just uh, <laughs> annoying I was getting excited too it would be perfect if there was a good girl who'd hang out with me at the party way too carried away Wow, I'm sorry. I heard someone complaining right away. Oh no, I'd better behave or else the student council is going to keep an eye on me. Huh? Oh? She's always like that. It serves her right. You know, I never liked her to begin with. What? Some girls were gossiping as they walked by. I guess they weren't talking to me. I bet there's some guys with ulterior motives comforting her right now. <laughs> that's so possible. I bet she's flirting with them. It's kind of obvious that they're talking about Nanaka. She makes me sick. She should just quit school and work the night shift. Hmm, angry girls say such mean, spiteful things. They're scary. That was something. I wished I could just tell them to forget about everything since it was party time. I came to the music room. The door was open. There was someone in there. Could it be Coco or Nanaka? I peeked inside. Or perhaps both. It was Nanaka. She was awfully quiet. Well, she was alone in the music room, so maybe that's normal. But she also seemed so spiritless. And she was just sadly staring out of the window. Did something happen? Naka? Her body cringed as I called her name. Uh, Yoshiki -kun. She turned around with a smile. Wait, she looked so sad just a minute ago. Well, from what I can tell from the Naka, she's the type that's obviously suffering from something that's just like completely destroys her and just like makes her depressed. But she covers it up with a smile. A lot of people do that. Ah, uh, well, I was just walking by. Onaka seemed to be restless. Uh, what are you doing here? I see. She was acting strange. She's never been so distant when she's talked to me before. Uh, uh okay. Nanaka tried to pick up her bag from the desk. Her hand slipped. Her bag fell and all the textbooks and notebooks inside of it scattered on the floor. Uh. I'll help you. 
It's gonna be some big reveal at the same time as I heard Nanaka's sad voice, I saw a torn notebook. The pages that she'd written things down on in class were torn up. It wasn't just her notebook. Some of the pages in her textbooks were torn up as well. What's this? You wouldn't do this to yourself. Who did this? <laughs> Nanaka looked downward, but her words were as energetic as usual. <laughs> Nanaka. Then I remember the girls I passed earlier in the hallway. They were saying some terrible things. Were they talking about Nanaka? Well, I thought that kind of obvious. Did they do this? Why did you have to get your notebook destroyed as the price of fame? <laughs> There's more to it, isn't it? That doesn't make sense, does it? <laughs> it's not right. <laughs> yeah, it's like that kind of thing, like, like people say. The people who smile the most and the appear the most positive are usually ones that suffer the most kind of shit. Nanaka! I accidentally shouted at Nanaka for playing the fool. Nanaka's body cringed again. I guess I should have added a lot more into that, just be like, Nanaka! Or something, I don't know. Sorry, I didn't mean to shout. I couldn't find the words to say to her, but this was just wrong. You're such a nice, honest girl, you don't deserve this. yoshiyuki This is wrong, you haven't done anything to deserve this kind of envy. I don't get it, they might have done something that made someone jealous themselves. This is unreal. I just couldn't say it right. I knew there were a lot of good things about Nanaka, but... I couldn't put them in words. So frustrating! Arigato. Nanaka gently held my clenched fist. Nanaka. Whoops. I'm not angry with you, Nanaka. I. Mm -hmm. That's... Man, my door just randomly creaked open. That happens a lot. The door is pretty much fucked. Like... I, like, have to literally just, like, grab the damn thing, just, like, shake it. Just, like, come on, work yourself, bitch. Just so it will actually close properly. Well, anyways... I didn't quite understand what she was saying. I feel envy and I have cruel intentions just like others. Yeah. Nanaka. Nanaka smiled. You know, characters always say that, don't they? They say that other like, character's name just like Nanaka. With that kind of. That, that sort of dialogue is just like Nanaka. Dot dot dot. It was her normal, genuine smile. I felt the anger inside of me disappear. ほんとはね。こんなことされてすごく腹が立って悲しくなって。でも、吉幸くんが声をかけてくれて、吉幸くんが怒ってくれて、私辛くなくなった。だから、ありがとう。her bright smile not only eased the anger, but it also seemed to take away strength from my body. Nanaka was going through troubles of her own. While some people liked her honest, cheerful nature, it was equally disliked by others. 
But despite knowing that, she was who she was. I smiled bitterly. I see. I'm glad. I relaxed my shoulders and let out a sigh. You're not strong, but you're not weak either. <laughs> Yoshiyuki-kun, what, really? I didn't know that. Have I said something embarrassing before? <laughs> oh, bother. Nanaka and I went back to our ordinary ways. Nanaka held out her hand. Sure. Nanaka held my hand. It was Nanaka's usual way of communicating. But there was one thing different from usual. I was holding her hand too. Real scene change, complete change in the mood. Let's see, I guess I'll we'll start getting ready. First, I'll preheat the pan. Ah, shoot. I think the laundry's almost done. Who could it be at this hour? It's too early for Otten and Yumi to come by. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'll be right there. Rattle. Yume, what are you doing? Dinner isn't ready yet. Talk to me. Oh crap, I left the pan on the stove! Ah, sh sh shit, there's smoke coming out of the pan! It got too hot! I turned the stove off, but the kitchen was filled with smoke and I was overreacting to things. Ah, damn it, oh well. I just have to let it cool off for a bit. Uh, uh, Ouch, hot, it's hot, 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 I don't think I can use this pan well. I guess I'll use a different one. I'll just sit down and listen to you later. Hmm, which pan should I use? I don't want to burn that Del one one. Del one one, whatever. Damn, a phone call now? Ah, who is it anyway? Hello, this is Yoshino residence. Eh? Free orders of soba? This isn't a soba restaurant. Uh, yes, yes, wrong number, huh? Please be careful next time. See you. Click. Let's see, what was I doing? Ah, oh, that's right, I was preparing dinner. Bing! Ah, oh, the laundry's done, I have to transfer the clothes to the dryer. Rattle slap, beep beep! Good, let's take care of it, so the kitchen's next. Sorry, later, okay? Hmm? Do I have any butter left? Ah, oh, crap, I don't know, I better go get some. My, my, aren't you a busy person tonight? You may, I'm going to run to the convenience store. Can you stay here for a bit? Don't worry, I'll be back in five minutes, okay? Thanks, see you. Okay, okay, I'll listen to you later, okay? Just hang on a little. Get his attention, man, by slapping him in the face. Then he'll probably have no choice but to listen. Slam! What was that? What's she so angry about? While you were so blatantly ignoring her the whole time and... I mean, if you ignore someone, even in if you actually got a lot of shit to do, they're gonna get quite pissed off. Oh well. I'm sure she'll be fine by dinner time. Well, I better get dinner ready. You may didn't show up for dinner that night. Then he went out to get, like, butter, was it? And then he's just like, OH SHIT I LEFT THE STOVE ON! GOD DAMN IT! Uh, let's see here. Music room. I imagine he's probably sleeping there. The Christmas party! Wow, they actually got the tree up. It was the day of the Christmas party. 
The snow had stopped and it was a beautiful day. They must have rented a snow plow last night and I was a little disappointed that the snow on the ground was completely gone. Scientific advancement isn't always good. It's a festival, hoist the shrine, fires and flights are the flowers of Edo. Edo. Yippee! <laughs> Good morning, Anaka and Coco. What are you talking about? Today's the day of their party y'all! Okay! I started to walk normally because Coco scolded me. Man, he's overly excited, isn't he? I couldn't help feeling excited when I thought about the party starting today. Oh, I know you'd understand me, Nanaka. It is exciting, isn't it? You're making a complete fool of yourself in public. I can't remember the last time I made a fool of myself in public. I I recall like going to a zoo once, and I was just like completely acting like an idiot. Not when there were a lot of people around, but I was still acting like an idiot outdoors. So it's kind of random, just like, yeah, 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 Zeus, woo! Come on, I know you're getting an itch too, Coco. <laughs> it's so much fun teasing you, Coco. Coco got upset and walked away. Anaka and I looked at each other and laughed. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> You'll get hungry if you get angry. We headed to school together while having fun. Sakura-san, no, Principal Yoshino was on stage addressing us about the Christmas party. An announcement like that made me realize the Christmas party was really starting and I got all worked up again. I could tell the other students felt the same way based on the sounds of people chattering. Hey, Yoshiki. What are you doing today? Hmm, I haven't really decided yet. Again with that, man. He declared while tightly clenching his fist. But all I thought about was wandering around. That's not what I meant. I wasn't thinking of doing anything special just because it was a Christmas party. There's more to life than just getting laid, Wataru. If you just think about getting laid all the time, you're just gonna probably just unplanned pregnancies all over the place. I hadn't really made any arrangements with anyone. If I thought about it, maybe I could walk around with you, mate. No, she's angry with me. I wanted to walk around with Nanaka, but she was the Academy's idol. I'm sure she already has plans. Other than them, Mikaze. I wanted her to enjoy a school event, but knowing her personality, I doubted she would. Candidates for what? Huh? Candidates for my first sexual experience? You may not knock her and Wait, what? 
when you just like throw Amakaze and Twitch, it just sounds even weirder. It's like first sexual experience with uh, robots. Wait, what? Dumbass! What are you talking about? That's not what I was thinking. Oh, seriously, that doesn't make any sense. What about you? An unusually dull and unclear response. Matari looked a little bashful. His eyes were serious. Well, if you plan on losing your virginity at the Christmas party and getting a girlfriend at the Christmas party and doing both at the same time, that's kind of unlikely usually. Well, I don't know. So we tap this, we grinned at each other. I mean, like, what? Are you the type that, you know, flips on the first date? A girlfriend, huh? How about me? As I hit this realization, the opening ceremony for the Christmas party was coming to an end. It is the hallway we're supposed to go to, right? Well, obviously, but I have to double check, because I can never remember where we are on the walkthrough. Finally, it's lunchtime. I was helping with the haunted house, so I was busy this morning. Well, at least we finally got it ready in time. I hope lots of people come and get scared. Hmm, the store is open today. Okay, I'll buy my lunch there. I can't believe I was able to buy Agasaba bread. Agasaba bread was so popular as the fried pork sandwich and it was almost impossible to buy. I've only been able to eat it two or three times since starting at the school. What's going on? Did everyone go out to eat at the same time? Eh? Ah, Naka. Yaho, are you going to the school store with the stop basically just the store too, Nanaka? I can't read with shit. Eh, why? Why? Is it a mass diet? Eh, it's not? Ah, that's right, saving some room for the food stands. Ha! I was looking forward to that too. Oh man. That's right, that was why the store was empty. But I was able to buy your supper bread. Yoshiyuki, what am I doing happily eating this? I've already eaten half of it. What? 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 I think that the Yoshiyuki part was, like, his name was in the wrong place there. No, it's not. I have to eat sand food on a perfectly empty stomach. I'm so stupid. I almost dropped the Yagasaba bread, but I held on to it, because it wasn't the bread's fault. Actually, I completely forgot about the sands at the Christmas party because I was helping with the haunted house. Oh, I can't throw this Yagasaba bread away because I hardly get to eat it. Moreover, I don't want to waste it. So, so come If I waste food, Sakura-san will be angry. Hmm. Yeah. Anaka yeah. walked up to me and she took a bite off of my half-eaten yakisoba bread. Uh, uh, but uh, an indirect kiss, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Because Nanaka took a bite from where I was eating. <laughs> Maybe she finally realized it because Nanaka raised her voice. However, because it's Nanaka, she shouldn't make a fuss about it. 
しよう。え、え。あ、ごめん。あ、私吉明君と。ナナカ panicked while turning red. Was she panicking over an indirect kiss? ごめん、ごめんね。You don't need to apologize. だって恥ずかしいし、あの。I guess even a n a k a p a n i c s over something like this. <laughs> no.、Uh, sorry, I just thought it was unexpected. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. <laughs> What's up with her? What's up with me? Why do I keep laughing? Now I knew her speech and conduct didn't have any intentions behind them. I could understand why everyone misunderstood her, but it was a huge misunderstanding. Because Nanako was so cute and pure. <laughs> uh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> well, I'm surprised. Seeing my continuous left and Nanaka pouted cutely. I guess she's sulking. Her behavior was something I couldn't usually see, and it was so cute, so I continued to laugh. In the end, Nanaka and I shared the rest of the Akasaba bread. If it was me, I would have smacked him on the edge. It's like, stop laughing! I'm going to move around more than necessary to digest it. And a bell just rang to let us know it was the end of lunch break. Anaka invited me out. Furthermore, she asked me bashfully. Then it has an abrupt ending, just like, What? Are you serious? Tiptoe, tiptoe. I snuck out from the classroom where our haunted house was being presented. Tsukunami had already guaranteed my freedom on the day of the Christmas party, but he was nowhere to be found. Luckily, the class president was talking about a shift schedule, so she didn't notice me. Goodbye, my youth. Why was. I guess it's just the music, just like, let's go to this way to fit the music. Phew, escape mission successful. So, what the hell is even the point of the haunted house if we're not gonna see it? God damn it. Christmas party I've been looking forward to. It's better to enjoy it rather than end up playing some depressing ghost. Sorry, my classmates, if I had time later, I'll come back as a guest. As I was walking, someone grabbed my shoulder from behind. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to cause trouble. I turned around as I came up with an excuse. It was my senpai, not one of my classmates. Nani, Sabori? No. <laughs> それにしても乙女の顔はバッチリねここで貼ってたら案の定弟くんが出現したんだから She knows you too well. do, do you need something from me? さて弟くんはこれからどこに行こうっていうのかな hey,、uh, nowhere in particular. I just think the walking around the Christmas party. なんか人騒動を起こそうとかそんなつもりはないと Of course not. Of course, y e t s a m e n a so you y o There are people who don't cause disturbances. o t o t o k u n o s i n d i t a t e m o i n o k a n a Sure, of course. I had no intention of challenging the school council. At least, not this year. Are you saying you can't trust me, my Iki Senpai? Hmm. d o r e d o r e Mikey Senpai came close to me and locked it, looked into my eyes. Wait, your face is too close. When I looked away, Mikey Senpai grinned. Hmm. Don't be unreasonable. Well, I would look away as well. I'm crap with eye contact. Hmm? Sugnami. She wants to make a deal. Wait, if you reveal where Suganami is, then、I'll, that would seem more suspicious, though, wouldn't it? I. Suganami is hiding near the incinerator. Oh, wait, he did tell me, didn't he? 
I answered. I guess Senpai looked rather disappointed, perhaps because I sold him out so easily. So, so I don't owe him anything. I answered calmly. I guess Senpai looked dissatisfied that the interrogation ended so quickly. Well, all he told me was, if you feel like joining in, come to the incinerator, so I don't know anything else. What this proves is that you cannot trust Yoshiyuki with any secrets. If you like, just like, okay, I'm gonna tell you something, and like, I trust that you won't give it away to like people who will try to interfere with these plans. Like, I don't give a shit, man. Senpai grin. A trap. I never thought of that, so I was impressed. It's very possible, Tsuginami. Eh? Yeah! On my guess, Senpai's gear, several students who were hiding, probably disciplinary committee members, all came out at once. With those words, Mikey Senpai left with her minions. Sorry, Tsuginami, friendship can be harsh sometimes. What friendship? You just totally sold him out just because you felt like going around the school. Some friend you are. Knock on wood. I shrugged my shoulders and walked away. You're only kind to girls. With any of your friends are guys who couldn't give a shit. To the hallway! He's totally not a bro. Because I'd made arrangements with the Nakura, I waited for her in the hallway. I saw various groups of students going in every direction. Huh. I was thinking I might have to spend this fun party all by myself. I never even thought of hanging out with the Nakura. She was the Academy's idol. Shirakawa Nanaka was the girl who kept turning down everyone, everybody's invitations. It's like, I'm filled with joy. I saw Nanaka running down the hallway. A beautiful girl, Nanaka, running towards me. This situation itself was like a dream. Well, shall we go? I couldn't help grinning. Mm, I'm nervous. Where should we go? I opened the body program guide that was passed around in class. Let's see. Well, obviously this one seems like it'd be the best choice. I mean, music. But let me just double check. Well, yeah, obviously that one. Ah, oh, you're right. Do you want to see that? That's right. Anaka pulled me by the hand. This wasn't the first time, but it always made me nervous when she held my hand. Now, now I can't submit myself to Nanaka magic. Calm down, calm down. Yeah, thank you, baby. Yeah! What? Wow! Ah! What? Oh, this is pretty exciting. You know, with the lack of voice acting. From what I can tell, hard rock, something foreign. Okay, here we go. Oh! One, two, three, four! Suddenly we hear cheerful music coming from the speakers at full blast. This is... Uh... Well, you were way off then, while well, dressed like that? And Anka and I were appalled. We found a sign by the entrance to the special stage. There was a list of programs. The Yoken and Band Horizon were scheduled to play at half past three. Yeah, we 
you came to see the special lineup. For a moment, the air around us froze. Hey, why did it freeze? Moreover, the way Akane and Anzu looked at me was scary. That totally coincidence, like you didn't like ask or anything. It's just so happened we're in the same area. Uh, uh, yeah. It really wasn't a coincidence, though. Well, if the Naka said so, I guess that's what it was. Yeah, but their costumes are... they have makeup too. I guess that's con considered new. She was right, playing Okinawa and folk songs in those costumes. What kind of makeup we're talking here? Are they like dressed up as kids? Ah, uh, uh, Naka. The Naka started walking off somewhere else. I ended up following her. See you. Uh, mm. <sighs> yeah, it was. The Naka and I came to the courtyard. I smelled something sweet. I felt hungry. Yeah, I am. We headed to the booth. Welcome. Some girls were having fun making grips. They were friendly with us. Oh, look how many varieties they have. Too bad they don't have voice actors. Let's see, strawberry crab and a chocolate banana crab. Those are the standard ones. Odd varieties? <laughs> the odd varieties included crabs with meat and vegetables. They were side dish crabs. They're all tempting. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea. Let's do it. Which one would you like? I recommend uh, the blueberry chocolate as a sweet type and the spring roll crepes are popular as a side dish type. Yeah, what she said. We sat back down at the... Well, we sat down at a bench by the booth with our grips. Let's eat. <laughs> We both took a bite. My spring roll is... Hmm, good, there's some chicken inside. Suddenly, Nanaka sat up and turned towards me. Like chicken? Why is she asking me in such a formal manner? I could tell she was nervous. Because we were about to kiss indirectly. But that was so cute of her. Would you like to try it? Hi. She took a bite of my half-eaten spring roll crap. Her pale pink lips got squished as she took a bite. It was a good idea to have a side dish type. She nodded her face all red. And then she timidly rocked her body. Yes, please. Nanaka hesitantly held out her half-eaten crap. The chocolate's dripping. <laughs> Nanaka quickly pulled out her handkerchief from her skirt pocket, and then gently wiped the edge of my mouth. Thanks. <laughs> we looked at each other and looked down. What's this? What's this sweet romantic air between us? This isn't good. Why isn't it good? My heart is starting to pound. <laughs> 
Uh, 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 yeah, it's good. The sweet crabs are good too. You, you got the... Actually, I couldn't even taste it because my heart was pounding so fast. My eyes met with Nanaka's eyes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we could only laugh in this strange atmosphere. You can have some uh, more of my crab if you want. Uh, 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 <laughs> we could still only laugh. I never thought an indirect kiss would make me so nervous. I guess that's because Nanaka's behavior was so different from usual. It wasn't anything like the image I had of her. She always acted as if she wouldn't even care about an indirect kiss. Um, this isn't fair. Oh boy. That was how the first day of the Christmas party went. I wonder what happened to Tsuganami. I wonder if my senpai captured him. Oh well. It's none of my business. She caught him in a Pokeball. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. I looked blankly at the ceiling as I laid on my bed. You know, I suffer from, like, anxiety as I've mentioned before. And I wonder to myself, just like, okay, take someone with some really bad anxiety, put them in a situation like that, and their heart starts rat like pounding, they'd probably be like, oh shit, I'm having a panic attack. Like, but they could also just be like, wait, no, I feel this way because this, this romantic atmosphere, it's not that it's just like anxiety going into a panic attack, it's more like, is this, is this love? Or some shit, you know? I never really paid attention to it until last year, Christmas. I went crazy at the Christmas party with Tsuganami and Wataru, and got yelled at by the student council and the teachers. That was fun as well, but I just don't feel like it this year. More than anything, I don't want to cause a problem for Otone. Hmm. I stretched out as I laid in bed. There wasn't anyone in particular that I wanted to spend time with. Really now? After, after what I am today, just like, ah, nothing. But in my mind, Naka's face came to mind. Okay. So there. Kind of thinking, yeah, I've been spending a lot of time with Naka lately. Oh, I've only just realized. No, I really have been spending a lot of time with Naka compared to the yellow ones. Because she's our Academy's idol, everyone's eyes bother me a little. But I have so much fun being with her. That said, I sometimes I can't help feeling she has me wrapped around her little finger. However, I think it'll be fun hanging out with Anaka. Is that the reason that he, like, just feels like that? It's just like, well, if, like, I were to confess my feelings or anything, it could turn out to be like, I'm sorry, but I can't. And just be like, no, God, broken heart. Well, I guess I'll ask her if I can find a chance to. I fell asleep as I thought that. I suppose that's the worst thing when it comes to confessing that you like someone is how they will react to hearing it. Mm. Something's beeping at me. Let's see. Where did I put it? Where, where? Yeah! Slam! I just turned the alarm off. I forced my sleepy eyes to open and looked around the room. Oh, it's my phone. What's with your phone's alarm there? Well, ringtone. Who's calling me this early? Ah, uh, hello. I better it's Nanaka, but we'll continue this another time. I'll see you next time, viewers. See you next time.